Okay, if you're, can if you're uh, doing animal survival over here, please. The game of animal survival works just like it sounds. At the end, we're going to see who survives. It's not winning, it's just who survives. Head on out, let's go. Surviving is a skill these teens have gotten pretty good at over the years. Go! Not because they wanted to, <laughs> because they had to. I was teased a lot. I was really uh, bullied along with my brother. Ryan was teased because he's gay. Amanda, because she's a lesbian. In fact, everyone who comes to Camp Firefly has faced some sort of a struggle because of their sexuality. Our premise is how do we help young people move from trying to survive in their schools to a place where they can thrive. The camp's co-founder fought the same battle when he was younger. About uh, 10 years ago when I was a beginning teacher I had a gay uh, student who committed suicide and I watched how uh, the community and the uh, school that I was teaching in responded and they responded with silence. That's why teens here are taught they don't have to be silent and that sexuality can have more than one dimension. The concept of homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, asexual depends on who you are. The camp sheds a grim spotlight on how mm. difficult it still is to be openly gay in many parts of Canada. Sometimes you get slurs yelled at you. It's always in the back of your mind, am I safe? Is it okay to hold my girlfriend's hand? Kyle Jones from small town Newfoundland has heard those slurs. There was a rumor put around my school that I had AIDS and there aren't even any gay people around where I live, so obviously I'm not having sexual contact. Um, that was a slap in the face, really bad. <sighs> Bam! Whoa. Whoa! It's been 30 years since homosexuality was decriminalized in Canada, and still it takes great courage to step out of the shadow. But united in a common struggle, these teens are showing the strength to do just that. Thank you for your open minds and bodies. Have a beautiful day. Carolyn Jarvis, Global News.